In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an animated box title sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. In order to create this box text animation, we first just need to go ahead and create a sequence. So once you've created that sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we can now go ahead and create the first box. So in order to do that, we're going to go into the project tab, go to the new item button and select black video. Then you want to drag that black video onto your timeline and we'll just extend the duration of this to around 10 seconds. Now we're going to go into effects and we're going to search for ramp. So as you can see, that was already there from a previous tutorial, but ramp is essentially just a two color gradient. Now you want to go ahead and pick two colors quite close to each other. So I'm going to go for a dark blue and then I'm going to go for an even darker blue. So somewhere around here. So it's two shades of the same color. Now you want to go ahead and deselect uniform scale under the motion tab. So this is unlinking the scale height and width from each other. Then you want to pull the height down and you want to pull the width down as well. So you want to end up with something along these lines. Then we're just going to move the position of that up. Now from here, you just want to go ahead and create a mask around that box. So we're going to go to the free drop bezier, draw a mask around the box. We'll go roughly 10 frames in and create a new keyframe on mask path. Then we'll go back to the very beginning and we'll move that mask all the way to the left to make it disappear. So we end up with this animation. Of course, though, this is the layer on top. We want a white box underneath this one. So we're going to make a copy of this black video. Hold option on your keyboard if you're on Mac or if you're on Windows, that is Alt. Drag that up to make a copy. And then we'll just delay this top one by three or four frames. And then we'll go to this bottom layer and we'll change the colors of the ramp to more of a white. So we'll go for a gray and a white. So that is what we end up with. Of course, though, as you can see, once it appears, we end up with these white lines. So once it's appeared, we're just going to pull the opacity of that white box away. So we're just going to create that opacity animation. So as you can see, that's just disappeared at that point. So this is our box now created. So we can now go ahead and right click selecting both of those and nest that into a new sequence. So that is our box layer now created. And of course, we're going to need two of these because we need two boxes to complete this effect. So we're just going to hold option again or alt drag up to make that copy and we'll make video one the bottom layer. So the bottom box. Alternatively, though, if you wanted to change the color of this box, then I wouldn't recommend copying the nested sequence. I would copy the two original black videos inside of the nested sequence, paste them into that sequence. Then you can go ahead and change the color. So yellow would complement blue quite nicely. So we'll go for yellow and we'll go for more of an orange here to create a nice gradient. That looks nice. And then we'd highlight both of those and nest those as well. So that is what we end up with. So we end up with a yellow box and we end up with a blue box. But of course we want them to be delayed. So let's pull that second box over to the right. So we end up with this. Of course, feel free to go for whatever colors, whatever variation of color shades you want. It's completely your call, but I've just gone for blue and yellow in this example. So now we've done the boxes, we need to go ahead and do the text. So I'm just going to go to the T icon, which is the type tool. I'm going to select the yellow box and we'll type out a word or a phrase. So I'm going to do Brooker Films. Then we'll go into effect controls, go into the text. We'll increase the size of this. So make that really large. We'll center that up. Center that up there as well. And then we'll move the position of this using the motion tab down here. Then you just want to extend the duration of that and we'll make a copy of that text layer. So again, option drag up or alt and drag up. And we'll change the other word to films or your second word. And then we'll just drag that down. And of course, as well, you can always change the width of the second box. If you've got a smaller word like I have, you can always just shrink that. So you'd go to uniform scale and then pull the width down. So that's what you would end up with.
But of course, at the moment, you can see the text is not animating on. So we're going to go to the point where the animation finishes, which is here. Make sure we select that yellow box to begin with. Then we're going to go onto that top text. We're going to go to motion, opacity, select the free draw bezier and just draw a box around the yellow box like this. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. We'll go to the point where the animation starts, which is there. And then we'll go ahead and move these points to the very left. So where that box is starting. And if you go through frame by frame, you want to go ahead and update the position of that mask to follow the edge of that box animating on. You don't have to do it every frame, but maybe every other frame or every three frames, just so that it looks like it's roughly following that line. And that's good enough for me. And then you can do the same thing with the film. So wait until the animation has finished which is there. We'll go ahead, opacity, free draw bezier, create that box icon. So create that box mask, new keyframe on mask path, go to the start of that animation, which is here. We'll move those points over. And again, frame by frame from this point, we're just going to go through and make sure that, that is following the edge of that box animation. And there we go. If we take this back to the very beginning, you can see we have now created this really cool box animation. But from here, I'm just going to highlight everything. We'll select nest to put it into a nested sequence. And now we can just go ahead and move the scale. Now, if you wanted to left align this, for example, or right align, you just go into that nested sequence. You would select that box layer. So that is the bottom box. Move that over to the left. And then you would select films move that text layer over as well, making sure that it lines up roughly. So somewhere around there. Then you just play that back to make sure the mask is following on, which it is. And then you can go back to the original composition and you now have that text left aligned. So again, you can now change the scale of this. You can move the position of this to create a lower third like this. And of course, at the moment, you can see we haven't done an out, but you would follow the exact same process doing out. So you would animate the box to go out. Then you would animate the text to follow the animation of the box. And it's as simple as that. The great thing is now that you've created this and because everything is in nested sequences, you can jump in at any time in the future and make a change to this. So you would go into nested sequence 12 and we can change the text so we can go for hello. And then we would just change the width of the box, which is this one. And if we go back into video three, you can see that has now updated. So now that you've created this, you can use this forever. Use this as a template. So you've made it once, but you can use it forever. It just requires a few amendments to adjust it. So just change your text, change the size of the box and you're good to go. And there we go. That is the effect now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.